Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well uh, Aries Rising weekly general tarot reading January, actually February 7th, up until February 13th, uh, 2022. And uh, should you wish to skip the draw, guys, the card draw, and you do wish to jump right away into the uh, spread, uh, you can do so by using the uh, timestamp in the description down below. Other than that, if you do enjoy uh, the content here on the channel and uh, you do wish to support us, just leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads, nor, uh, nor, uh, nor uh, his live streams as well. And uh, with that being said, let's jump right away to the draw. Now, the first card that you do Aries have that is going to be uh, Temperance. Followed by the second card of your spread, which stands as the Eight of uh, Cups. Uh, the third card, for what it seems, is going to be a uh, Nine of Pentacles. Uh, followed by the fourth one here for you guys, that will be the Hangman. And uh, the final card of your spread, uh, we have uh, the Ace of Cups. I like that, these five cards, okay? All right, so uh, that's going to do it for the draw. And now uh, let's jump right away into the spread itself. All right, so you can see your uh, spread on the screen here, Aries. And uh, that is going to be quite of a roller coaster as a week. We do have a bit of everything. We do have uh, uh, kind of like uh, disappointments after that, breakthroughs, then... Um, Kind of like waiting for the right circumstances, but all ends well. Uh, all is all is well when it ends well, doesn't it? Uh, with uh, the Ace of Cups at the end, which you can see many interpreters interpreters to interpret it as a, a pure love, and that's kind of true. But the Ace of Cups doesn't just constrain itself only around intimate love. That is the love for life itself, or in another words, after all the ups and downs throughout the week, you are to find yourself at the end of the week in a place, whether it is a romantic place or, or a business place, that you are going to freaking love it. But starting out the week here uh, with uh, the temperance, you Aries are going to address some problematic or not ideal type of uh, enterprises and situations that most likely does involve other people in them, like situation with your wife or a husband, you know, like situation in between you and your colleague as well. Situations where there are different opinions. And uh, also with the temperance, um, a cumulative ground, like a common ground may not be found, a, a resolution that works for everyone that is involved in the situation is to be developed and is to be found, and thus the mutual respect, solidarity and compassion is to be kept out there, although that resolution or that solution although works for everybody, is not going to be ideal for none. And we can see that into the second card where everybody is coping with the, um, and I don't know how to put it into words here, the afflictions, the, 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 the lack of perfection that these resolutions or a path forward is uh, is to bring uh, with the eight of cups that it is related to the temperance we can see that everybody that it is involved in the situation whether it is a family situation or career situation kind of carries on their burden and while the situation it is not ideal there is the prospect for the future that you are going to keep up working together or you are going to be together is far better than uh, having to satisfy some temporary needs at this very moment. <clears throat> And uh, at these early stages of the week, from the start towards the middle of the week, is all is all of that. It's it's a roller coaster type of a situation, ups and downs. You know uh, where uh, how can I put it into words? Where everything it's it's to be performed for the sake of the common good when it comes to the full resolution of of the whole endeavor. I don't know how to put it into words, so I'm sorry if it 
if it sounds very vague but just to give you an example of it uh, <clears throat> Say you do want to go on a holiday and you want to spend your holiday on a warm place while uh, your partner wants to be wants to go skiing somewhere. So uh, one or the other doesn't feel deprived or rather like doesn't feel neglected. You pick up a place that it's neither of those, but still you're going to have a good time into it. OK, so that that type of a, a resolution is what we do have here. And because everybody made the compromises with the other, the mutual respect and the, 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 the reliability is kept on a personal level here. You are also going to find resolutions on some of your concerns and issues about money, for example, or about uh, time management, which again are not going to be ideal, but they are going to be resolution and the uh, rewards at the end or rather like the the result is going to matter more than what, what you will have to endure or what you will have to go through to get there. And uh, in generally, once the result is done of uh, this uh, this period of up, ups and downs, you are to see that pretty much it was, uh, it was worth it. And you are right to think that it was much, much better perspective than what you are going through to get there. And after that period of ups and downs, we do have the Nine of Pentacles, which is uh, kind of like a unexpected turn of events probably where things are going to uh, whether it is in career or in relationship things are going to start improving themselves in a much much larger scale with the nine of pentacles it is likely that at the middle of the week you are to be addressed with a very important deed like a project <clears throat> like a job as well should you be single the card could speak about a very important person important in a sense compatible right very very compatible person with you to uh to address you or you to get introduced with them because this is how the nine of pentacles stands it stands as a opportunity for you to make a huge progress into your development wherever you do want that development to take place and with the nine of pentacles that development it is just it's, it's happening so 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 easy and on the layout or rather like on the font of uh, nine of cups that thing here that should should happen to you as an opportunity it will feel so refreshing and it will feel so unexpected like a like a huge blessing it's uh it's bestowed upon you and uh you can expect that that middle stages of the week a huge business to come your way okay <clears throat> or should we talk about romans like i said again a rather very very compatible person to uh to approach you should you be single now in already established relationships the uh nine of pentacles here stands for a uh, um an outlook for the future in a sense of that that it is a, a big possible um development whether you decide to have another child or or to marry each other it's just a general reading guys in that card could show up or rather like manifest itself in many many different ways but it does speaks that you are moving toward a big stability or rather like you are gifted with the opportunity to establish a big stability and to become wealthy now under wealth you uh, have to consider that wealth comes in many in many forms for some people money are wealth for others being healthy is wild uh, for third uh, being uh, in love is wild and and so on and so forth here whatever you consider that you are to make you wealthy that is what opportunity you are going to get to make a huge progress in development. And the thing is that it will not take that much from your behalf to make an effort into that direction. Because after that, we do have the hangman. And that is the moment where you did your part here. You did your part. Uh, to make the future possible or the best version of the future possible and as I said primarily that this um, uh, week will involve other people as well now with the hangman all that it is left is, is to uh, for you is to wait others to do their part as well 
should that be about a romantic relationship okay and you do have a suitor that it is very very compatible you traverse your distance if you consider that women are for venus men are for mar are from mars and you have to meet at earth you made your travel from venus to earth but you cannot make the travel from mars to earth you have to wait for them to do that okay and uh, that for some of you aries because aries is a little bit of a more um i don't want to say telegraphed it is like you 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 need always you you must or kind of like you need to have always some kind of a goal to to have in front of you for accomplishments and achievements uh here with the hangman that is just the contrary it is just a moment from the mid towards the end of the week where you just have to trust the universe to do its part the other person to do its part the, the the project to develop and that's why the hangman it is, is simultaneously a, a, a test of faith and, and as well a breakthrough it tests your faith uh, that you have put it uh your chips in the right basket so to speak and in the same time it's a breakthrough because things are bound to happen it is just only thing you have to do so that to happen it's just to wait for it and you don't have to wait that long to be honest because we do have the ace of cups at the end and that speaks areas that at the end you are guys going to enjoy quite of an impending change in a sense of that <clears throat> all of your concerns is it going to work out or is it not going to work out they're gone because it does works out at the end of the week with the ace of cups and whatever your venture was all about all the ups and downs you went through and that's awesome opportunity for you to make a huge leap into development uh it kind of like transcends your reality into something like i said at the start of the reading you are going to freaking love it and uh whatever you feel like you went through hell at the start of the week so you can establish that domain of yours or not uh, all of you guys will see that it was freaking worth it okay it was freaking worth it and uh if that's truly about romantic love you can see you are to see actually at the end of the week that that is the purest love you can you can experience it's that's how the ace of cups comes as a uh, as a form but my appeal to you aries it is just don't freak out from the mid towards the end of the week where the week is going to be a little bit uneventful and you are going to wait out things to just develop on their self uh, by themselves or without your inclusion that is but they will develop and they will develop in your favor according to these cards at least and like i said at the end of the week you are going to be in a pretty enviable place i would say career wise or a relationship wise but whatever your concerns were toward the week and problems they will become pretty much irrelevant at the end so with that being said, there is, uh, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading, guys, uh, for uh, that week. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it, and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.